player on the floor. Chris Casey, who's hardly touched the ball tonight. He's a versatile player, Casey. He was an outstanding high school player at Stonewell Jackson. West Virginia Conference Championship game will feature two of the top three conference scoring teams in the nation, and you'll see it live right here on WCHS. Good evening, everybody. I'm Dave Weekly, along with Paul Holshue. We'll be calling the action of tonight's game. West Virginia State is the fifth best team in the NAI. Bluefield is averaging 90 points a game. The scoreboard operator, Paul Holshue, will be very, very busy tonight, but anything can happen in a championship game. Packets, number 31, 6'3", sophomore, is Wayne Casey. One more the rebound. Wayne Casey for three. Rims out, tough luck shot. Here comes State on the fast break. It's Wayne Casey. Great pass. Excellent gas by Casey. Helps him be, uh, be the kind of rebounder that he's uh, demonstrated as a freshman. The Chief Warren State team are going to have to get involved in the offense. For example, Wayne Casey. Exactly. Off the front iron, no good. Omar Booth with a rebound. He brings it off to Wayne Casey. Behind the back dribble. Into the hole and scores it. The double team oh. misses. Leggett ahead of the pack. Dwayne Casey. Casey. Who's DeWitt? Oh, no. Kenny Swanson has the ball stripped away by Wayne Casey ahead of the pack to Ron Leggett. Yeah, Our Paul Holshue is out on the court. And in a moment, we'll be speaking with the victorious coach of the Yellow Jackets of West Virginia State and a couple of very special Yellow Jackets seen on board. Welcome to Kemper Arena in Kansas City, Missouri, and happy St. Patrick's Day. Let's make that old Kemper Arena as we get set for the championship of the 50th NAIA Basketball Tournament. Good evening from Kansas City. I'm John Sanders, along with Dick Vitale. We get set for this championship matchup, and that's exactly what it is, Dick. A national championship on the line tonight. John, tonight we'll have cutting down the nets. It'll be celebration time in a locker room. It'll be party time on a campus. These players have a chance to be BMOC, big men on campus. And tonight it all starts for them with an unbelievable emotional game. I really believe physically, emotionally, and mentally, these players are prepared. I've been talking to them all day. They're excited, they're enthused, and they can't wait to play. West Virginia State, 6'3", sophomore, from Charleston, West Virginia, number 31, Wayne Casey. I don't know about Marty. star, but he's playing. <laughs> Turnaround jumper, Casey is good. Wayne Casey, he's a sophomore, hits his first. He's missed the versatility. He's an inside-outside player and a combo guard. Look at him. Blocked by Moore. Casey starts back. A two-on-two -two with Leggett. Lane jumper, good. That's why they average 99.5 points a game. Seven minutes. Moore. Turnaround, jump shot too hard. Rebound by Casey, back up and in. I like Casey. There's the gap right on the wing, right there. Casey for three. There it is. Casey showing again. That multi-dimensional ability he possesses inside, outside. His six three-pointer in the tournament. Beautiful move, shot won't fall, and there's a power rebound by Wilson. Two on three, Casey and Leggett. Casey, jumper, good. Under control, shoots a little jumper at the foul line. He is a solid player. He really is a solid goal player. Number 31, Wayne Casey, Bam. Wood. They try to double team him. Now they move back. Casey for three. Yes. Casey having one heck of a night. Ronnie Leggett has been under control here, but Casey doing a solid job. He moves and they start chanting, Bobby, Bobby. 
Here's Casey. The baseline jumper is good. Casey having a great ball game. That's 16 points for him. We've been singing his praises all night long. He's been just solid all night long at that backboard line. Little horse. Somebody's got to make better decisions offensively. It's next to the coach as an assistant coach. His third three-pointer. It's a 10-point lead for Washburn. Casey's jumper, good. They need to score it out of Casey and out of Leggett. I have Casey trying to do something about this deficit. He can think free. He can shoot the three-pointer. Forces it in the lane and lays it in. That's 20 points for Wayne Casey. The Wayne. lead. on West Virginia State tonight in Institute. The Yellow Jackets showing why they'll be a team to watch for at the tournament. Wayne Casey pouring in 35 points tonight. Starting a Yellow Jacket comeback in the second half, Mike Conner had 28 points for Wheeling as they led throughout most of this game, but State coming back. Ruben Knowles will take the pass from Ray Williams, hit from way outside the three-pointer. State, as I said, not impressing these guys, but just about everyone else. It'll be Casey taking the dish from Omar Booth, Booth scoring, and State going on to win big tonight in Institute by 16. Many of the players, the coaches know each other, and State had revenge on their minds tonight. I guess so. UC also plagued with mishaps lately. Yeah, absolutely, and tonight they were plagued by State. In Institute, West Virginia played host, West Virginia State played host to the University of Charleston. Their basketball team suited up only nine players tonight. The Golden Eagles went into the battle with the Yellow Jackets with both starting guards out. Renard Good is nursing a foot injury, and Tony Jordan continues to be sidelined by academic troubles. Here's a look at what happened. State ran their break whenever possible. Wayne Casey knives to the hole for two of his game-high 33. You see, got a nice game from freshman Mike Mason. He banks home two of his 20 points tonight. And Golden Eagles coach Todd Landrum tries to fire up his team. Renardo O'Neal with a pass ahead to Isaac Young, and the senior from Philly jams at Young had 15. For the Yellow Jackets coach Chico Caldwell, Wayne Casey was the answer tonight. He gets the big jam to end the game.